Hello everybody, Daniel here. Now, you guys may be able to see in the left side of the screen that I have something added to my setup. And this is not a mod or anything in-game, instead this is a OBS overlay that's added to whatever stream or recording I'm doing through OBS. And so I can't really see it in-game right now, but I know it's there. Um, now this is uh, not completely my original work, in fact 95% of the code was written by a man named m-lw, um, his github is linked in the description, um, a lot of credit goes to him obviously. Um, he originally made this overlay for streamers who are streaming Skywars, and I simply reconfigured it to show bridge stats instead at the request of Zerk. Um, he sent me this thing a few days ago, and he asked if I could reconfigure it for him to, to show bridge stats, and I did it for him during this, uh, his stream today, and it worked out pretty well, and um, he suggested that I should share it with other people so that other people can use it as well, and so that's what I am doing. Now, to install this, it's pretty easy. You you just go to the GitHub link I put in the description by um, m-lw. You download his zip file using his link. You unzip the file. You unzip the folder. Where it doesn't really matter where. And what you do is um, you go to OBS and you add the... Uh, add the index.html file that you extract from inside the zip file as a browser source. You have to add a browser source, select local file so that it's not a U URL, um, so uh, you find the index.html file and add it as a source. Now before you before you add it as a source, though, you uh, you will have to do two modifications because as I said, this, this was originally made for Skywars. If you want to use it for Bridge, um, you have to, one, use my uh, the config.js file that I created. Um, and so basically there's a config.js file in the zip folder and uh, you just have to replace it with the config.js file that you download from me. Now the uh, the version that I'm using right now uh, is the one that Zerk requested from me, which is why it has pink and white. If you don't want pink and white, um, I'll by the time this video comes out, I'll probably have made some other color versions and um, you could also always search up Minecraft's chat formatting codes and uh, change the colors yourself if you want. Um, and the second change you also have to make is you have to go into the JS folder of the um, of the uh, overlay thing, and you have to replace app.js with the app.js file that I link in the description. It will be modified very slightly. It will just have three extra lines, just to make sure that if you don't have any stats in a particular mode, it doesn't end up um, messing with the calculations of overall stats. And yeah, that's about it. And um, as you can see, the the top part displays your over like your total stats. The bottom part displays your session stats, which is um, basically the the overlay checks for your stats when you open OBS. And then any any stats that you get while OBS is open is automatically recorded as your session stats, which I find really cool. And it's probably a feature that I'm going to add to my Bridge Dual Stats mod in the future. Um, so that you can use it with like other modes and stuff. Uh, but yeah, let's jump into a game and show it off in action. Oh, right, right, right. And two other things you have to do is um, within the config.js file, um, there's a there's an API key. Um, and what you have to do is you have to do API new. I, I did API new up top there already. If I do it again now, it's going to mess up the overlay because the overlay will have will be using a API uh, API key that doesn't really doesn't like um, e exist anymore. But what you have to do, you click on it, you copy it, and uh, you put it into the API key. Um, uh, you put it into the um, API key. Uh, place like it will it'll, there will be a place in config.js where it's like api key and then you put it you put it in here and similarly you have to go to name mc and you f you have to find your uuid which will be a string very similar to an api key um and um, you have to put it 
after player within config.js. I'm sure you, you guys can figure it out. Um, and so that, that way it checks your own stats, not the stats of someone else, or if there's no, nothing, uh, nothing in there, then it will, it will just fail to check anything. Um, but yeah, basically that's all you really have to do for setup, and then in OBS it should show up, and you can drag it around, resize it, do whatever you want, um, and yeah, it should be all good. Um, now obviously, <laughs> I don't want to, <laughs> once again, I, I don't want this to come off as like something I created, obviously, uh, I only really did like nine, I mean like, I only really did like five percent of the code 95 percent of the work was done by um m-lw so huge huge props to him for creating this and uh, full credit to him as well i only really reconfigured it for bridge so <laughs> yeah um now let's let's finish this game and uh let's just see um so the hypixel api it updates it updates your stats your uh not immediately after a game ends only your win streak is updated immediately upon the ending of a game uh, like right when you get five goals um the win count is and loss count and goals and everything are updated after um the lobby resets and that's when that's when the api uh, updates that and then there's another five second or so of delay because um, this overlay only checks your stats once every five seconds to avoid like basically DDoSing the Hypixel API. And so by now you guys should see that I uh, my win count and uh, win loss ha have all increased or actually well my my solo win loss is still infinity, but my win count and everything has increased and I should also have five session goals and one session win and one session win streak, which I find really cool and I hope uh, other bridge streamers can put this to good use and yeah um, if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more stuff like this, um, leave a like, comment, subscribe boost me in the algorithm and yeah that's about it uh i hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys all next time bye